Today, uh, I'm going to show you guys this drone. It's the Snaptane A15H uh, four access foldable drone. And what we're going to do today is I already unboxed it. I don't like really doing unboxing videos, I think that's ridiculous. Um, but today, we're going to go through the contents that you get when you order this drone. And I'll link to this in the video description below. Uh, we're going to go through the contents of everything you get. We'll talk about it real quick. I'm going to show you guys how to link the controller to the drone. I'm going to show you guys how to download the app that you can then use the camera that we'll talk about um, to your iPhone or if you have an Android device you can use an Android device and um, the phone does hang on to the controller. We'll go through all that and I'll show you guys how the camera works briefly. This is just going to be an introduction. So what comes in the box, how to link it, how to get your first flight, how to land. All right, we're going to calibrate it real fast and then we can get into the video portion of it in subsequent videos, right? I want to at least show you guys how to get the app and, you know, get it onto your phone. So that's going to be today's video and we're going to do more videos because this drone can do a lot of really cool things. First and foremost, like everybody else, uh, I was so excited to get this drone and it's a foldable drone. So when you get it, it's going to be it's going to be all folded up. Sorry, it's your front front ones go first, your back ones then go like this. Okay, just like you see all those other foldable drones that you can purchase. Um, this is one as well. It's it's really a, a nice drone um, and it's pretty durable. So you got it. It's foldable. Unfold it. Okay, and underneath is where the battery goes. So here's your drone. It comes with your camera that you manually move. Okay, it doesn't have a gimbal, all right, but you can manually move this to the position you want, depending on how you want to fly. And it's got a little cover, little black cover. So you take that little cover off when you want to use your camera. Don't forget to take that black cover off. Um, you got your blades here, right up here. You see it's got a little screwdriver, little Phillips head to take each blade off. And up here is your power button. It's got your lights, which I'll show you in a little bit, and those lights do signify different things. You can also go blackout where there will be no lights at all flying. This thing's really light. I'm not sure its exact weight. Know your laws um, by you, and maybe throughout this video we'll figure it out. But depending on where you're at, federal laws and state laws and county laws are going to require you, at least in America, um, to register your drone if it's over a certain weight. I mean, this thing is extremely light. This is this is light as as a couple feathers. So, um, but you know, with the battery in it, it might be a little bit heavier, but not much. So that's your drone. That's your original drone. That's that's what it comes like. Two headlights here, and you got flashing lights right in the back, white up here. Um, the next thing is your batteries. Comes with two batteries. Uh, so that's kind of nice. You get about an eight-minute flight time, eight or nine minutes if you're indoors. You'll probably get closer to eight or nine minutes if you're outdoors and you're fighting wind. Um, you're probably going to get a little bit less, maybe five or six minutes flight time. You got a little port right here that you plug your little charger into. You plug your little charger into the USB of your computer or whatever. Um, when you plug it in, the red light will go out. When the red light turns back on, your battery's full. About 90 minutes to charge. They give you two, so you can charge them both up and and do a little bit of playing. And the battery, very simple, just goes into the grooves. So you see you got your little silver and your little, let's just line it up. And that's it. That's all you got to do to put the battery in. And it really doesn't weigh much. Uh, and then, like I said, you got your spare. Also, it's going to come with, um, and, on the, and this is going to be underneath the box. You got to take your box out and look for this stuff. But it's going to come with blade guards that you can put here for indoor flying or for protection flying around trees or whatever. This is good for indoor flying to help protect the blades from hitting the walls and stuff like that as you're learning. So you got four blade guards. They give you a little screwdriver and a whole bunch of sets of blades for, um, they're all interchangeable. There is no front or back. So you have all these blades. So if you break a blade, bend a blade, they give you a screwdriver and a whole set of blades to go with it. They do give you the battery charger, of course, that's in my, my room right now. Um, so, also you got a nice little book and they give you this nice little felt doohickey that you can keep all your stuff in. 
so you don't lose it. So that's that's nice too. Uh, we can push that aside, push this aside because I won't need guards. The next thing is your controller, of course. Very important that you um, understand how this thing works. First, to open this, to put your cell phone on, there's a little little thing right there. Okay, see, I just did that with my pinky to show you. Don't break it. All right, don't. It it lifts up. You see, and it clicks in place. It locks, then it expands. So will it hold your phone is your question. This is an SE, iPhone SE with an OtterBox case, which would also be an iPhone 5. Yes, it'll hold your iPhone 5 or your iPhone SE with an OtterBox. This is a 6 Plus. This is a pretty big one, and it holds the 6 Plus with no problem, and it would hold a 6 Plus with an OtterBox. So if you got a 7, an 8, a 10, it should work. If you have a, a Note 9, I don't know, those are pretty big, aren't they? Uh, so if you got like one of them really silly big phones, maybe, maybe not. Um, but I mean, that's, that's pretty big right there. So I don't know. You might have to do a little bit of research on the size of a, of a 6 Plus. Here's a 6 Plus. And like I said, a 6 Plus and there's still a half inch of space there. Uh, so you do a little bit of research on the size of a 6 Plus and the size of whatever you have. Um, okay, so close this back down. Do you need the phone to fly the drone? You do not. Do you need the remote to fly the drone? I don't think you do if you have the phone with the app. I'm pretty sure you can fly it with just the phone. But I think it might be a little bit difficult to do. But you can link from the phone, you can link from the controller. Alright, now using the manual I cleared everything out. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how to link the controller to your, um, to your drone. And then I'll, you'll see what, what it, you know, the characteristics, you'll know it's linked. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do an initial flight. We're going to bring it to a hover. And I'm going to show you guys how to trim it so it's not drifting too bad on you. Now, if you're indoors and your air conditioner is on or your ceiling fans are on, you need to turn them off if you're trying to trim it perfect. Because a little bit of air conditioner vent is going to move it. And then you're trimming against that movement. When the air turns off, it's going to take off on you. Just pay attention to that sort of stuff. If you're getting frustrated, just think about your surroundings, think about the environment that you're flying in. Your air conditioner vents are, are pushing some air out. Um, so have some patience. It's a drone, you know what I'm saying? You're flying, you're a pilot, so have some patience. But, okay, when it comes to linking, back here you, you got a little Phillips head screw. You take this off and you got your three AAA batteries that go in there, okay? Whatever brand you want. That's all you need, three AAA batteries. And then your drone, you slide your battery in and make it click. We'll leave the cover on the camera because we're not going to do any filming right now with the camera. So what you do, first you turn your drone on. So there's your flashing lights. That's your first indication that you're not linked. And then you turn the power button, you turn your remote on. Okay. This is flashing red. That's flashing white. Now what you do to link it, super simple. Go forward, you'll hear beep. Go backwards. Lights are solid. Red light solid. You're now linked. Now, all you have to do to take off is press the take off button right here. Okay? Once you take off, it's going to come to a hover and it's, it might start drifting on you. Before you do that, the manual recommends you take both these controls and you go in with them. See that? Now it says that it, you calibrated this to be neutral with this. So this should come up and if it drifts it's going to be very little drifting. So remember, to link this to this, turn this on first, flashing lights, turn this on, flashing red light, bring this up, beep, then bring it down, beep, lights go solid, you're linked. You can now fly. To calibrate this to this, bring both of your controls just like that. In to the 45 degree right here and in to the 45 degree right there. Down, down. Boop, make a, make a V with them. And now you're ready to rock. We're ready to fly our drone. It's that simple. All right, I don't have the most professional of equipment here, so bear with me. But I'm going to show you guys real quick. All you got to do is hit take off and it comes to a hover. And I'm not doing anything. 
There's your hover brush. See how it's drifting forward? Get back, back, and back. And it's going to start to drift back until it drifts too much and it's coming to me. Get it back over there. I'm flying it. Okay, it's coming to me too much so I can trim it. See how I'm trimming it by hitting the trim? And now it's starting to go that way a little bit and it's starting to go back. So you find your happy medium until you can, and I mean, I'm not really doing much here, but you see a little bit. And that's how you trim it. There's forward, there's back, and that's just how, that's just flying it. It does put out some wind. When you're done, then all you got to do, come back over your landing surface, hit land. That's it. It's that easy. Hopefully we got all that on video. Let's step back a little bit. And let's do it again. Hit take off, it'll come to a hover. And then fly it. The heater is probably on in my house because it's constantly drifting it toward the wall. So I gotta keep putting in this way so I hit trim. And there we go, that's pretty good. It's going backwards, so I'll hit forward. And that's holding pretty steady right there. Now you can go up. You can go down. You can come forward. I'm trying to keep it in the camera shut. You can go back, forward, left, right. Of course, it's this way because it's facing this way. Okay? Go back to the right. Now, other functions you have is 360 rotate. Okay? And you can also go. with no lights. See the lights are on? Right here, lights. Lights are off. Now you're blackout. Okay? So you can fly this without using a phone or any type of a, you know, device for capturing video. Pretty simple, as you see. Now we'll go back over our landing zone and hit land. And it turns itself off. Alright, so now we just landed it. We got it down on the ground. Everything's good. We didn't break anything. Um, I'm not going to lie. I did a little bit of practicing with it yesterday, but not much. Uh, but it really is that simple to do. And we just did it uh, very easy. Okay, so now the next thing I want to show you guys how to do is get the app on here. So let's just go ahead and turn this off for now. We don't need to waste the battery. And you see it's not linked anymore, so the lights are flashing. So if you wreck, if you crash, if you go out of range, if something happens where this doesn't link anymore to this, you get your flashing lights. If that happens, then you turn your remote back on and then go up and down. And now we're linked. We've got positive control of our drone again. But we'll turn this off and turn this off because we don't need it. Okay, so once you download the SnapTain app, this is your opening page when it comes on, all right? Um, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go into your Wi-Fi settings. You're going to look for the drone. So turn it on. Lights are flashing.
and there's Snaptain. So turn off, like you see how I did that? I turned off my Wi-Fi, turned on my Wi-Fi, and now it pulls up a new list. It refreshed, link to Snaptain. Go back to Snaptain. And once you open the app and you hit function display, it, uh, it linked. Now, from your app, take off. Land. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that you guys can fly this without the remote. I did it from the phone. Now, while you're flying, and I'm sorry this isn't the best of video, but you can control its left and its right. These are your joysticks right here, okay? Here's your up and down. There's your, you know, you can do it if you want, but that can't be easy. There's your down. There's your up. Um, I haven't done it, but you can fly from your remote. Or from your phone okay now back to where we were the screens black the screens black because the covers on the camera so you see I'm moving the drone around there's you there's your camera that's you guys <laughs> and scary picture it's decent quality I think it's 720 I, I'm I think it's a decent quality camera from what I could see on my phone. Um, it doesn't have a gimbal. It's not 4K. It's not super high def. Okay, this is a pretty inexpensive drone. Pretty inexpensive technology here. Great learner drone. So from here, you got, oh, that's the cover right there to the, uh, to the deal. Um, from here, you can take a picture and it just saved a picture you can add it to your photos okay you can turn on your video it's recording video so as you fly it's recording whatever that camera's looking at turn it off um, you could play back your video when you hit this it'll play back the video all right um, more of these is going to be in subsequent videos that we're going to do later all right more advanced stuff I only want to show you guys today what I what what we've shown so far now we're going to do one final thing we're going to fly with the camera on and to do that get your remote open your top up like I showed you take your phone put it in the holder so you can see what you're doing where you're flying don't lose this little cover for your camera it will blow away now we'll come up to a hover and I'll just fly around real quick, let you guys see this on the side, and uh, come back down for a landing. Okay, so when you start over, like we had the phone connected but not the remote, when you turn on the remote, it's going to interfere with the phone if you're going to try to link the remote to the, to the drone now once you had the phone done. So the best thing to do is go out of your Wi-Fi, turn the drone off, go out of your Wi-Fi, turn the remote off start all over turn on your drone turn on your remote link your remote up back then turn on your Wi-Fi go back to the Snaptain connection to the drone hit it go back to the Snaptain app just like we did in the beginning and then hit the um, hit the screen here function display and that pulls up your camera if you had the cover on this would be black like it was so now we can take off and you see it's flying. See the camera? And I can do a 360 view around my house. It's got good control. It really does. It's not bad. Don't be too intimidated by it. Drifting a little bit. So there's a good hover. There's mom sitting at the table. Wave, mom. There she is. Do a 360 here. There 
and we'll go ahead and land it right back on the table. Land. And that's it. So you're able to see everything in the camera that the camera saw. You saw it right here. And if you wanted to record that, then you would hit record and mom would have been waving and you would have had that on your phone. Then you could take the file from your phone and do whatever you want with it. That's up to you and your editing software and stuff like that. So that's it. All right. So that's it, guys. That's the Snaptain uh, foldable four axis drone. So you saw we were able to spin it. We were go this way and this way back forth we trimmed it with the trim controls right here we flew it we took off we landed it's too simple there's a lot more to this drone there's a lot more things we can do we can do 360 flips we can hit return you can fly trajectory with the phone app you can tell it where you want to go and the drone's gonna fly that when you hit go we're gonna get into all that in subsequent videos I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that as I learn how to do that but for right now Check the link in the description. You can pick one of these up. I believe they were under $70 US, I believe. Uh, you gotta check it for yourself. Pretty neat, nice little toy. You saw me flying it in here and uh, inside my house. Granted, I have tall ceilings. If you don't, it could be a little bit lower for you, but hey man, check your skills, have some fun. It's all about drones and it's all about fun and um, that's what this channel is all about. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks.